Hello, welcome to another food review. This week's review is something a little bit different, something we've not done before, something that is a hot topic at the moment. It is the Burger King Rebel Burger. Now, if you don't know what that is... Like I didn't. Nope. So we ordered it. No, I thought we were going both going in there knowing what we were buying, but apparently Steph didn't actually know what it was. Mm -hmm. This is a burger that's not made from any beef. Apparently it's like a plant-based thing. But the big hoo-ha, which I'm sure everybody knows about, is they can't actually sell it as a vegetarian burger because it's cooked on the same grill as the meat burgers. So what brain box was in charge of the Burger King's new vegetarian option that's not vegetarian? I don't know. Whoever he is, take his wages away, sack him off. See you later. Gosh. Now, on to the food. We've right. got um, an actual meal. So, drink, See at the back. chips. Tell and us what we've got. Tiny little bag of fries. But I always find their fries are just enough. I enjoy the fries in Burger King. Mm. They're already salted as well. Very crispy. The guy just cooked them, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They're very good actually. And we got a barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. And two ketchups. Yeah. See the size of these burgers, they are huge. I'm amped. I'm pumped. I'm pumped for this. Hell! It's the size of my hand! It's the size of your head. Mmm! Well, it's weighty! It's huge! It smells good though. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> it's got some weight to him. Oh god! What's it looking like Look. in there then? Burger. It's not a real burger. It looks it's... exactly the same. No, it's not. It's plant based. Look at it in there. See if we can let the viewers know. It does look like a burger, to be fair. Yeah. There's a lot of. Uh... You can really see that or not. There's a lot of veg, different veg in it. Yeah. Lettuce, tomato. Now. Something tastes spicy there. Eh? Do you take out the gherkins in your burger? You don't, do you? No, I don't. I know a lot of people do, though, don't they? I used to as a kid. No, I like the gherkins. Yeah, I do now. Or dill pickles, as they're called. There we go, then. Ready? Oh, you're going in like that. I'm going in all. No wrapper. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm a bit nervous. Oh. I'm nervous. There's no meat. <laughs> Where's the meat? <laughs> I think it's the first vegetarian thing we've had, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? That's meat. I'm sorry. That's meat. It's not. Let's get a piece of the actual thing. No, it's, it's, not, it's not me, there's something else going on there. Eh? It's like shredded paper. What is it, carpet? Cardboard? It tastes a bit barbecuey, but. It's because of the grill. Mm. It tastes like tasteless carpet, but because it's been done on a flame grill, it still tastes yeah. like a flame grill. I think if you just cooked it in a pan or a stone, it wouldn't have taken, tasted like absolutely anything. No. It's nothing. It's not bad though. Mm. Mm. It's not horrible. It's not the same as a regular Whopper because it's not like that juicy, meaty taste. And I'm not just making that up. You can definitely tell it's not quite. But you've Excellent. got all you've got all this stuff in there, the usual yeah. tomatoes, pickles, onions, lettuce, and that. 
Then you've got the carpet burger in there as well, and that's got a bit of flame grilled, so mm. it's not bad. And we've got our drinks. I went for a Fanta. What did you get? Coke Zero. The lids come off. Mm. How does everybody else feel about Diet Coke drinks? Because I always go for a Coke Zero rather than a Coke. Because I think it tastes exactly the same. Yeah. You wouldn't catch me going for a Diet Coke because that does not taste the same. So, Coke Zero I go for. Does anybody else like Coke Zero? Do you think it's different? You know what to do. Comment. I've got a bit of an obsession with um, diet drinks, haven't I? Mm. I've been there though since I've been ill. I used to drink cans and cans of like Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Pepsi Max, like many. I reckon at least a ten a day. Mm. Yeah, I used to... it's been really bad. I've cut down a lot though. A lot. Mm. This is good. It kind of tastes a bit like um reminds me of like a subway. I just kind of feel it doesn't look very appetizing when you bite no. into it. It looks like shredded up paper or cardboard. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. No, it tastes that really nice. It's not bad. What is it though? Does anybody know? We should really do our research before mm. we do these videos. What plant is it? What plant is it? Who knows? So when they say plant, do they mean vegetable? Is it turnip? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't. Maybe it's like that like corn stuff. Yeah, what's that? I'll look now. Mm. I've eaten mine. <clears throat> yeah. It's all right. It's okay. As far as as far as morals go, morally, I don't think I've done anything good because what you people seem to forget, it doesn't matter if you're buying a vegetarian option at wherever. Really, although you may have saved maybe a part of an animal from getting eaten, maybe. If you think about it, what you're doing is you're giving money to a company that make their profits off of animal meat. So if you really want to help, don't buy anything at all from a company that makes profits off of meat. Am I wrong? I don't know. It just seems a bit backwards if you're trying to save the world. Going for a vegetarian option at a Burger King is probably not the best way of doing no, it probably not how are you finding it very messy towards the end it is messy mm. yeah we ought to come up with some marks out of 10 in a minute Hmm. Huh? 
I'm gonna have my seconds. I'm gonna eat this. <clears throat> have a chat with the viewers. See what's going on. Well, give you a bit of a weather report. We're in Weston. It's fairly cold out, so the wind's quite cold, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but sun's out though, which is nice. I've got a cold. But. Dan's fit and healthy. I'm gonna eat some chips. I think you've probably got the worst small talk out of anyone I've ever <laughs> met in my life. Hey, I can't. I just can't. The weather is is. I've well. got a cold. Dan's fit and healthy. I tried. What? I tried, viewers. I tried. Now I'm gonna dip. Their barbecue sauce tastes, uh, smells like. Do you ever have um, Daddy's barbecue sauce? Yeah. It smells like that, and that's gonna taste like it as well. I've never had Daddy's barbecue. I've had Daddy's brown sauce. That's an English thing, if you're not English. Yeah. Daddy's is like an obscure well, a, brown sauce. I'm sure they do a barbecue sauce. I'd say probably most famous brown sauce in England is probably HP. Yeah, it's like ketchup, isn't it? HP. What? What? No, oh, HP brown sauce. Not ketchup. Have you been drinking this afternoon? No. I think you've messed up here, haven't you? Oh no, it's Heinz, isn't it? Ketchup. Yeah, Heinz ketchup. Oh yeah. HP's brown sauce. Just forget that. It's a good job I'm here. I don't know what would happen with these videos otherwise. No. I was thinking Heinz. I was thinking. I tell you what, you can do. It's not on YouTube. You don't have to be on somebody else's channel. You can do your own. You can have. You well, can. There's no need you can, for that, well, you can make small talk. You can get source names wrong. Go for the win. You would be lost on this channel without me. Right. How's your chip set? Lovely. Would you like some barbecue sauce? Yeah, I would actually. What else did you get? Ketchup. Oh, that's in packets, isn't it? Yeah. Packets are no good because we're in the car. Okay, Dan's everywhere. car. Yeah. The new one. So what's going on with Yous. you guys? What are we on now? January what? Twenty ninth. Is it? Yeah. Twenty ninth. Hell. Time is flying. Mm. It really is. The years are shooting by. Mm. Yeah. These chips are good. Mm. Yeah. We've just been in the town. Obviously got some food. And we also went into the sportswear shop. Oh yeah. To look at the trainers. I was planning to get some J's on my feet. <laughs> Did I say J's on my feet? J's on my feet. Yeah, so get like me. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, those yeah. trainers, those those Jordans. See if they had any red ones. Yep. You look pretty sick. Because it is Dan's birthday coming up. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. At 46. I can't believe it. Neither can I. No. 46 years old. That may or may not be the truth. Have a guess how old I am. Whoever gets it right, I will reply to. If you get it wrong, I'm not talking to you. You want to shout out? Yeah, shout, shout out. out. Yeah, by the way. Still doing them? Yeah, it's still on. Mm -hmm. 
It's not a limited offer at the moment. No. I do think the subscriptions are running out though. So like and subscribe while you can still, because I think there's only a limited amount of subscriptions left. So you need to get on it, guys. Time's ticking. You haven't got your napkins? No. Oh. Bobby would not be proud. No. Wow. Mm. <sighs> right. Review, review. Marks out of ten. You go first. This is just for the burger. nice i just didn't like the look of it once you bit into it because it looked um cardboard i think we'll have to review it as a vegetarian burger do you know what i mean because you can't mark it as out of a burger because it's not going to compare to a real burger but no like a, a vegetarian as a, yeah as mm. a vegetarian yeah. burger i think seven is fairly mm. good maybe even eight because for a vegetarian burger it wasn't horrible at all if somebody told me, well, well, didn't tell me, that's what it, it, it was, I would have thought it was just a drier, stranger sort of looking regular Whopper. Because mm. yeah. I think you probably would have quite happily gone on and eaten it and not really looked at it if you didn't really know yeah. how it was any different. Um, or if you were blindfolded, you wouldn't have even known. Nope. Because the thing is with it, the whole mess up of still cooking it on the meat grill is what makes it tasty because it tastes flame grilled. You've still got all that sort of smoky taste to it. And with the other vegetables and that on it, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. So I think we'll stick with seven. We'll go yeah. seven and a half. All right, meet in the middle. Seven and a half out of 10 for a vegetarian burger. Yeah. And that is the Rebel Whopper from Burger King. Yeah, BK. Um, that's it for this week, really. Yeah. A very topical review. Um, yeah. yeah. Summer is on the way. Oh, yeah. We'll be tanned. Mm. Hair done. Next review. Well, depends. Depends. I have discovered a new milkshake machine mm. in the local area that I accidentally stumbled upon the other evening when I went to get my car washed. I think it's very clever mm. and I, we are going to do a review of that one day so yeah yeah we should actually maybe next summertime we're going to do some alcohol reviews as well mm. we'll take you out onto the beach front which is down there to bars and whatnot that do Nice drinks out on the seafront. Yeah. Happy days. Cocktails. Be good. Mm. And that'll be that. Mm -hmm. Until then, it's Fanta. It's Fanta and woolly hats. Mm. I have to um, wear woolly hats because I'm very cold on the beach. In I'm wearing my football manager's uh, tracksuit top. Who do you support? What? Who do you support? I don't support anyone. Who do you support? Write it in the comments. Who do you support? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, I do actually manage a, um, a youth football team. Um, Western Seabirds. Mainly... 15 to 16 year olds, bring them on to FA level, um, coaching. Jose Mourinho pays me a bit of behind the scenes mm -hmm. just to bring through the talent. Um, so that's what I do really. Obviously Cristiano was quite a story when he came down first of all. Man yeah. all trades. Yeah, I got him doing a few shots and the goal and that. Yeah. I brought him on to what he is really. I don't, I don't know if everybody's... You know Cristiano Ronaldo? Not personally. No, you've heard of him. <laughs> that was one of my guys that I brought on. Oh, is 
<laughs> yeah, well, we go way back. Christ alive. Have you got his yeah. number? Huh? Have you got his number? Yeah. He's coming over later for a couple of drinks. Is he? Better get ready. We've yeah. got to go, guys. We've got to go. Yeah, what? Well. <laughs> Yeah, so I do that. Um, busy all the time, really. Working, football training, obviously getting the um, <coughs> go kart team together. I think Lewis is back down this weekend. No. Lewis Hamilton, just to bring on the use on the go kart team. So that's pretty intense as well. And yeah, doing the food reviews, really. So, I'm busy, busy. So that's it for this week. Yeah. Anything you want to add? Yeah. I think so. Anything the viewers need to do? Like and subscribe. Exactly. And we'll see you next time. For what could be. Well, it could be anything. There's two or three ideas in the pipeline. Mm. Um, and as long as I don't have trouble with the internet, they'll be coming thick and fast. Reviews thick and fast. Yeah, you're all being spoiled this week with two reviews. Mm. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>